Hello and welcome back to. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't... No, 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 don't do that. Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X with me, the Biscuit Boy. So, when I went on my little shop break there between the streams, uh, I did leave the Xbox on where we were, but it still decided to kick us off and take us back to the menu. So, we may have lost a tiny bit of progress. Oh no! Also, hey, Kibby! And yes, I was a minute late because I was talking to you! <laughs> I was replying to you instead of setting up the stream. <laughs> um, so I did just by one of those demo videos popping up there, the demo play videos. Did find out how to deal with the bats. Turns out we just get our lighter out, and oh, we may have lost a lot of progress actually. Oopsie. Like being silly. Oh, me again. Yeah, we may... Oh, yeah, we defo. We lost a lot of progress. Oopsie! Because we, um... We haven't saved Steve. We have to save the angsty teen again. And then go in that submarine. So the, lower, the whole submarine section we did in that lower lab area. We have to redo all of that. Oopsie! I forgot, I can't go downstairs. You have to just press X on stairs. You genuinely, you don't... Up and down stairs is not a thing you can do without an X button. Mid game BRB. Is that... Was I BRB'd and went to the shop, or is that your BRBing now? If we get, if we go in here, the bat should leave us alone now, from what I saw. And we'll be able to explore here. Oh, they are. Nice. <gasps> I take the Durillium case. I don't mind if I do. I love the Durillium case. I love me some good old Durillium. Fuck's a Derillion case. Nice! I like that we can deal with the bats with the light. Or maybe that's what we've been doing the other games with the crows. I just never figured that out. Get me old, uh, me bow gun out. But actually, we'll get me pistol. I've got more. Bow gun! Derillion case. Locked with a simple key. I could open it if I had a lockpick. Well, we don't, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll put that up in our storage box. Why have I got Phantom of the Opera in my head? I've never even seen Phantom of the Opera. I know the music because obviously, you know, so many things nowadays have parodied it and had Phantom of the Opera episodes of them, like The Simpsons and other things. So why the hell have I got Phantom of the Opera in my hand? La 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 I don't know. Phantom of the Opera! I'm insane! I've cheered up a bit. Doing these streams and actually being left alone today by people has, has actually really helped already. Alright, let's try to leave and we gotta save the angsty teen. Yeah! Help me! Steve? At least I've already cleared this place of enemies, so it's fine. Should let him die. Making me Lugers. My Lugers. You're my goddamn Lugers boy. What are you taking my Lugers for? Fair <sighs> Lugers. That was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. 
Looks cool, huh? Oh, Sorry about that, them Inferno. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. We've seen all this already. Can I not skip it? No. Nope. Okay. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve. Yeah, bastard. I just realised this is the second handgun because we left one with bar. Oh no, 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 we didn't. We left a bunch of grenade launch ammo and a healing iron. I'll skip this either. Not a good shot, is he? Redfield, how dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. Oh, can I really not skip I this? Oh, I could. I figured that I found the skip button. I remember the dogs. When did I kill the dogs? Oh, I feel like there's still dogs. <gasps> Wait, there's a green herb there. Didn't see that last time. Always got to be on the lookout for green herb herbs. Oh no, I have dealt with the dogs here. So Kibi, between the streams, helped me find a game for YouTube, so I have a game for YouTube now. I have a new stream, I don't have a PlayStation stream game at the moment, so we'll still be doing Resident Evil until I think of one. Only because I just want to get my money's worth out with PlayStation. After this is we have to leave our um girl boss adventures on Frozen Evil. So far we've just been uh girl bossing it. And then it's have to be Leon. I think I can choose between Chris and I can't remember the girl in five's name. He's just like Sh 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 Shira or Shara or something like that. Hey Ken! Welcome, welcome. And then six, you kind of have to play as everyone. Seven, you have to be Ethan. Eight, you have to be Ethan. So yeah, this is sort of the end of our girl boss adventures. How are you doing, Kim? You doing well? Napping, oh, you and your nap, your horrible, horrible nap. Really, you for them. Nah, I'm only messing with you. Kind of jealous. So you, you can nap, and not wake up feeling like shit. <laughs> yeah, you know. The in napping may may if I had the ability to nap, it may help me with a lot of it. I don't. Sucks. I'm feeling a lot better after this morning stream. 
you know, streaming and I'm actually having a day where I can rest my brain for once because I've not had a Wednesday uninter un uninterrupted. Oh god, I forgot I put the lighter. We figured out how to deal with the bats, by the way. Not had a Wednesday uninterrupted for like seven or eight weeks now, and that like I knew I was gonna break at some point. I knew this was gonna happen. That's also why I'm not that concerned. Like you and Kibby seemed really concerned this morning. Um, I was like, I'm not concerned at all because like, I knew this was coming. I knew I was gonna have a mental breakdown soon. <laughs> I genuinely knew it, so I didn't think much about it. But today, I'm actually being left alone. There's no one else in the house. I'm getting to stream, talk to the people I actually like, indicating the chat. Um, <laughs> I found a game to record for YouTube that's from the PlayStation. If you found one for me, that actually looks quite up my street, so I'm going to do that. Okay, good. As long as. Basically, after the stream. Between 4 and 10, I need to be left alone. I need to not be interrupted by people in real life, not be requested to do anything, not be asked to help with anything, and then I'll be good again. I'll be fine. Now, do we think that's going to happen? Do we honestly think no one's going to message me in real life? Again, I don't mind Discord people or the chat and Twitch. They're different. None of you ever caused me stress. Real life things. Now, uh, who wants to put a bet on that I'm not making it disturb? <laughs> My money's on someone's going to disturb me. Hello, retro gamer. Get round the post. Blair. I might need a navy symbol. I left in the box, I don't know. Who knows? Let's pick it out! You don't know. It's my first time playing this one. Um, I've not really got lost yet, but I have heard from people that you, like, it's quite... Confusing. A lot of places you have to go to. Your favourite three? I would have to... No, I, I'd probably say two. Two is probably my favourite. I, I started again. Like, I started... i say again. I started for the first time from zero, and I'm going to play through all of them. If I bought all of them. I'd say so far, I loved Zero's story in the train setting, but the zombie monkeys really broke that run. Uh, I love the originals, fixed camera angles and gameplay. Uh, I, I was only playing the remake of 2 and 3. I don't have the original of 2 and 3. They've removed those from the Xbox store. And they only have the remakes now, so I had to play the remakes. But I already knew I loved 2's remake because I already played through it. I, so far, I think 2 was probably my favourite. But 3 was a lot of fun. The 3 remake was a lot of fun. Um... It's just a lot cut out. I know the free original is meant to be a lot better because they didn't cut out as much stuff. Well, they didn't cut anything from the free original. Yeah, OG free. Yeah, see, OG free. I think OG thing is, I think OG free would be much higher up there on my rating list than remake free. But as I said, like I bought them all on Xbox, so they. They all went on sale, and I got like every single Resident Evil game for like under a hundred quid for all of them, like under eighty quid for all of them. Quite a good like deal, but for two and three, they only had the remakes; they didn't have the originals. I'm pretty sure, from what I've heard, if it was the original ones, it was going from the gameplay of one and the fixed camera angles. I think three would be much higher up there. Um. OGT, yeah. I'm enjoying this one quite a bit, actually. I have heard some bad things. I'm enjoying it. Zero tanked my run. I got to 
a bit where basically because I didn't I didn't line things up properly, I basically got into a room where both characters had no health, no ammo, and there were three zombie monkeys outside the door. Which if you face those guys, they take three or four grenade launcher hits each. So I was I basically soft locked myself from like any time I walked out of the room, I was instant death. So I ruined that run. Like the randomness of free. Yeah, I, I've heard that a lot. Like free has quite a lot of random feeling stuff, so it makes it feel more real. Hey, Kibby. Yeah, see, that, I've heard a lot of people like that because it makes it feel more. You can really put yourself into the game more. Because you've got no idea what the zombies are. Nemesis doesn't have to be killed. Oh yeah, I'm past where I was. Yeah, I'm back to where I was. Yeah. I get jump scared anyway. I got scared from the bats earlier. On. I didn't. I didn't realise you can use the lighter to stop the bats from like warming you. One thing that I am disappointed in the remakes is the lack of outfits. If you stick around here long enough, you'll figure out there are there are a few things I love in all games, and what the main one is unlockables and outfits slash costumes. And the I know the original three had the most unlockable costumes out of any Resident Evil game, um, and the remake of three has one and one you can pay for. Sorry, two you can pay for. Oh God, my liar. Yeah, Mr. X was like nothing. Plus, halfway through, um. Halfway through Claire's playthrough, he gets killed. Not even halfway, like, relatively early in Claire's playthrough, he gets killed. <laughs> Mr. X just gets taken out. It was like, oh, he's no. Well, he's no longer a threat. Um, he's gone. You can pay for Jill's original skirt. And you can pay for a Carlos original outfit, but all it is is they gave him his fluffy hair again instead of having... No, they gave him his slick back hair instead of the fluffy hair. That's Carlos's outfit. Yeah, that's true. I shot his hat off after finishing the game. I shot his hat off after finishing the game to see what all the hype was about. I was like, oh, what's so bad about shooting his hat off? I did it. And then he, oh, God, <laughs> the man does not like his hat shot off. <laughs> I was like, what's so bad about shooting his hat off? Bang on. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Well, actually, no, I feel like you should get the original soundtrack anyway. But still, like... To go from what Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and even 0, which came out much later, did with unlockables and, like, the costumes you can get. You know, it was one of the reasons you kept playing the Resident like, from what I've heard from people, it was one of the reasons you kept playing the Resident Evil over and over again. It's like, you kept doing it in the harder difficulties, you kept doing these harder, weird challenges, because you had these cool unlockables, like, um, Hunk and Tofu and the outfits. And then in 3, it's remake, it's like, yeah, that's it, you get one. Oh, you can give us money for two. Oh, I see it. Like, <laughs> you're shit, isn't it? Hey, but that's the thing of gaming as a whole at the moment. There's not, like, unlockable costumes is not really a thing in games anymore, and I used to love it. Especially fighting games, I used to I love unlockable characters. Like, genuinely, one of my biggest childhood memories is playing through Tekken on the... Tekken Dark Resolution... Uh, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection Edition on the PSP, playing through every character's storyline, getting certain characters perfect down to the point where, like, I finished the main boss without taking any damage because it unlocked certain things and new cutscenes. Getting everyone's cutscene, everyone's unlockable costumes that you could get, all the unlockable characters, the new unlockable, like, menu screen. I did everything in that game because it was like, oh, I can unlock stuff. Yeah, cool, that's cool. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. 
and then one of the other ones is um as a child playing dead or alive four i believe yeah because three has the orange cover yeah so four playing dead or alive four and unlocking the female spartan you can unlock and unlocking the halo level and then after unlocking them playing through the city street level a bunch of times because if you're playing as the female spartan on the city street level the cars that go past you every once in a while a warthog would go past you with a bunch of drunk marines on it shooting their guns up in the air and i was like i did all that stuff i put hours into those games just because i'm like oh, i got a new thing that was it now it's just like give us money so i do need to read it uh, never played the OG of Call 2 when I tried to do a um, shock. The hat by accident since I thought it was killable. You got a drone for it though. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't like his hat coming up. Um, I hate how nowadays you got to pay for it. Yeah, instead of earning it back in the old days. Hi. Hate the record quality. Yeah, same. I hate it so much. Here's the thing as well, right? I've, I've even thought of a workaround. I've genuinely thought of this. Gaming companies. I would. Because I know, like, nowadays in fighting games, you just start with all the characters and all their costumes. And, you know, they sell you more characters because they want money. I would give them money for the opposite. Like, say the new Tekken came out. And it's got... I think it's got, like... 42 characters or something like that. I don't know. We're just, just going to say that, because 42 is the number of the universe anyway. You know, I mean, the life and all that. Say it's got 42 characters. I would genuinely go to the gaming company and go, Hey, can I give you, like, 20 quid for you to lock a bunch of these characters under behind hard challenges. So it's like, I give you £20, I put locked mode on, you give me 20 of the characters, and the other, you know, 22 I've got to unlock by completing that person's story perfectly, or completing, um, finishing stage 4 with that character with this time on the clock. You know, I would give you money for that. I would pay you to give me less stuff so I can unlock the stuff. I would fully do that. If... You know, the satisfaction of going through and unlocking the stuff or like going through and oh, I finally did that super hard challenge. Look at me. Like I can play as this character now to show off I did that super hard thing. That's such a satisfactory feeling. Like I remember having fighting games as a kid and then going around my mate's house and them having the same fighting game, but them having different characters to me. So like I may have a certain character unlocked that they didn't have unlocked, but they've got a character that I don't have unlocked. So then I'd go around their house and be like, oh, how did you get them? Oh, that, 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 no, I would never be able to do that. Cool. I can play as this person at your house. Like, this is, <laughs> you know. I would, so I would still, I would give them money just to be like, give me less stuff. Make me, make me earn the stuff. Here is my money, make me earn it. <laughs> you know, I would do that. Yeah, see, Gibby gets it. That's something that I haven't played the new Re uh, Ratchet and Clank, but something I've read up that has annoyed me of the newest Ratchet and Clank. Because Ratchet and Clank has a very similar thing. You go through with the guns, you get them to level 5, you finish the game, you go new game plus, you get them to level 10. You know, they become more powerful and more awesome. But also, you go through and do all these, you know, hundreds of skill points um, to unlock silly costumes like a snowman or Ratchet in a suit or like the, the wheelchair gear too. That's not a silly costume. That's respect that they still put that kid in the game for anyone who doesn't know quick thing ratchet and clank i think around the second game uh super fan or might be the third game a super fan kid who was like dying of cancer and in a wheelchair died um and he featured on an episode of home improvement where they put like an arcade cabinet of ratchet and clank in his bedroom because that's all he wanted died and ever since then in ratchet and clank you can unlock him as a skin and they still put him in the games they genuinely still put him in the game I mean, that's wonderful. But, what I was going to say, the newest Ratchet and Clank, um, you just get the outfits and costumes by finding them. And then also, they give you different bonuses, but you can just equip any costume you want and then be like, I want that costume's bonus. I'm like, no. Make me earn this stuff. Don't reverse it. Don't reverse it. But yeah, so far from my Resident Evil gameplays, I'm enjoying this one a lot, actually. I'm enjoying all of them, if I'm being honest. I've not not enjoyed one. Hmm. 
Pretty sure where to go now. Yeah. I hate the ones where you can tell as well that they've made the game like ridiculously hard just so you give them money. Because I don't mind a hard game, don't get me wrong. You know, the struggle is real, it's quite fun, you know. And especially like games where you can just put on an easy difficulty. So if I want to know the story of this game, I'll put it on normal, play through, get the awesome story. And then if I, if I find the game fun enough, and I find the gameplay fun enough, I'm going to put it on the harder difficulties. And then just play for it again. That's what I used to do with Halo when I was younger. I think everyone who played Halo did that, you know. When you play through the game, you got the story. So I've just finished Halo. Well, I'll put on hard mode. I've just finished hard mode. I'll put on legendary. I'll just finish le legendary. I'll do a lasso. I've never done a lasso. I'm never gonna do a lasso. I'm not good enough. Plus, I'm past my Halo skillful days. I'm now shit at Halo. I'll never do a lasso, in case anyone was wondering. Yeah, that's true. I think that's the thing as well. A lot of games have forgot they're meant to be fun escapism, not chores or a job. Because, but also not just the games that slow themselves down, but there are a lot of games now where it's like, oh, we have to have gritty realism, you know. And don't get me wrong, I like a game that has realism. There are games out there that do realism amazingly, but also like enough as well. Just let me have the fun adventure. You know, don't make me have to calculate what every item weighs so I'm not encumbered. Don't make me have to actually sleep and eat. And I get there are people out there who like that and I get that, but putting it in every single game drives me up the wall. Like, I want to escape. I want to... Games, genuinely, I think, used to be like, oh, you're the badass. Escape, escape reality. Escape boring day-to-day -day life. You are the main character. You are the badass here. Go be a, you know, all-powerful OP god. And then games nowadays is like, no, you're nothing. You are nothing. You're little. You're a little shit. You're nothing. We will punish you. We will kick you while you're down. You're nothing. I actually didn't have much problem with Fallout 4's weight system. But that's because I've never been one of those people in Fallout or Skyrim to pick up every single item. <laughs> For you people who do that, that probably is a struggle. The struggle is probably real there. For the people who, like, pick up every single item. I've never done that, so I'm, I was fine. Fall damage does kill me in games, though. Although, Fallout 4, found the sneaky no fall damage boots. I still love those people who don't know about those boots. For anyone who doesn't know, in Fallout 4, genuinely put in by the developers, you have to glitch out of the map um and do like sneaky glitch jumps with your power armor and a jetpack to get to a room that is inaccessible otherwise to read a log about how they was testing um boots that stop your full damage like in portal they don't say portal but it's like in portal and then you can get a pair of boots for your character that you don't like you know how power armor stops you from getting damaged so do these boots so every playthrough I've had of that game, I go and find those boots. I say every playthrough, I've probably played for it twice. I played for it once, did everything, and I was like, I don't need to play for this again. Um, but yeah, I get those boots, and then I just run around with no power armor. Like, super light, not having to be, like, hunkered down, but then also having no full damage. I genuinely have no idea where I'm meant to go here. I have this case that needs a, a key. Oh no, I need a lockpick. And then I have this storage key. Small key of steel with the word storage. No, I don't want to go. But yeah. How's everyone doing anyway? I hope, hope Kibby's alright. I hope Kitten's alright. I hope Retro Gamer 5000 is alright. Also, Retro Gamer, is there a short um, name for you or is it just Retro Gamer? So I don't mind saying the whole thing, but a short name would also help. Also, Kitten, I know I have messaged you about it, but the socks are really awesome and they're really comfy. I really do appreciate it. Retro, okay, cool. So I think I've done everything here that I can do in the palace. Probably should save it, really. 
no, 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 I actually, like, it sounds like an upgrade. That reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. That genuinely feels like a Ratchet and Clank like, weapon. Like, oh, you have the retro. And I've upgraded it fully. Oh, you got the retro 5K. <laughs> That's great. You're playing Fallout 4 at the moment. Do you have the no fall damage boots? I find them extremely useful. <laughs> they are very good to get. Um... Kicking up everything. <laughs> Fair enough, give me enjoy your BRB. I just, I just, I've never had that. Where am I going? I've never had that urge to pick everything up. I've never. You know. Uh, eh. I'm not lost. I just don't know where to go. Does it count as being lost? Not knowing where to go? Well, no, lost is not knowing where you are. I like in this one, it feels like once I've killed the enemies, they are gone for good. And I quite like that. There's been quite a few of them, like, you kill the enemies and then you come back and they're oh, there's more enemies. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the challenge of enemies, but Resident Evil has a finite amount of ammo. That I remember what the storage cupboard is that this key goes to. I try that too, and then I get murderized. <laughs> Take the bow gun powder. Taking the bow gun powder. Is that even two? There's gunpowder for the bow gun. That doesn't help me. I don't know. <laughs> it's gunpowder for the bow gun. Okay, cool. Does this make the gun stronger? Like, what the fudge? Now I have no idea where to go. Welcome back, kiddies. Oh yeah, in don't get me wrong, in two and three, yeah, I did just dodge zombies. In this one, I can't do it. It's also because like there's meant to be the one eight, like it says hold A and press anything on the directional pad to do a one eighty. Shouldn't do it. Right. So my speed turn button doesn't work. Mm. Where do I come from? Where do I go? Um, oh, not mine. Seriously, where the fuck am I meant to go? Am I meant to go back? I feel like I'm not... Like, it feel it doesn't make sense to me to go back. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me to go back to the prison. I must be missing something somewhere.
Maybe now I've got that navy symbol in, the bridge will work. Although it only it only looked like one of three. It didn't look like I did all of them. I would like to remind everyone I've never claimed to be good at any of the games I play. <laughs> when I wonder I was just wandering around not doing anything. I, like, I never said I was good. Just said I played them. It does feel like zero all over again though. I did just run around that game not having any clue on what to do. Hungry Pando, you weird little robot thing. Not a robot, it's a ghost. Oh god, but no, 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 I, I forgot to equip them. I'm sorry. Look. Leave me be. Yeah, so I do, I do need all three. stuck. Maybe I do have to go back to the airport? Or the prison? This just doesn't feel like it makes sense to me that I'd have to go all the way back to the prison. Oh, an ink ribbon. Three ink ribbons. Bloody hell. Oh, this door does open. That's fully my stupidity there. Stupid, stupid man. So I saw the giant metal door and thought, oh, that doesn't open. I'm sure the undead ghost would appreciate that. That's what Pando is. He's a ghost boy. Undead ghost boy. Well, why am I saying I'm dead? Because really, all ghosts are like that. Ghosts count as the undead. But the undead's like zombies and revenants and stuff. Do ghosts count? Are they something else? It does sound like really good food, though, by the way. I had a pot noodle. <laughs> it shows how, like, British I am. Yeah, it's like really nice cooked good food and I was like, I have a pot, had a pot noodle. Which I never got on Red Dwarf why they hated pot noodles. I think pot noodles are delicious. Anyone who's a fan of Red Dwarf knows how much I hate bloody pot noodles. Uh, this is what I want in my fast paced zombie action game. Holy move the cray. <laughs> I should probably get my weapon out, right? Oh, no, I hear in the back. 
Oh, I'm found it over here. Iron Bridge. Oliver is missing. Not inventory management in this game, isn't it? Gibby, how many how many points are you away from claiming your um game by the way? I was curious. Who the hell is a zombie? An umbrella and Oh, it's many zombies. Great. Oh cool, that's all that close to me as well. That's that's wonderful. Can I drop the thing on them? Or... Well, that'd be funny if I could drop this on them. Oh. Good old fashioned shooty shoot stabby stab. Oh, get off! I'm stabbing you, you fuck! Oh my ammo gun again. Do that. Why is it card? Yes, I can now unlock the facility, right? I now swipe and go back in the uh, facility where the <laughs> um, horrible tea fucking tyrant is or where it is it's up there. How many parts do determine to do gravity rush? I think it was six. I do two two hour streams a month. Or two two hour streams a week. There's eight streams a month. Oh, I was just wondering how many parts it took me to do Gravity Rush 1. I think it was about six. I do about eight streams a month. So I should be able to do Gravity Rush 2 in a month when, once it's redeemed. I don't know how close you are to the thing. I'm just trying to work out um, if I'd have to buy PlayStation Plus again for whenever you redeem Gravity Rush or if I'd be able to do it all like quick and not have to redeem it. I don't mind buying it again. Like it's fun playing the PlayStation. Plus when I buy it I don't buy the Game Pass so it's like the same amount of money that I'd be leaving like. Seven point eight. You're not that far off, Kibby. I'm sorry, I don't stream enough. <laughs> I don't even know how you earn points fully on Twitch. I really don't. Yeah. 
with. Right, now I'm definitely going to go save because we've not saved since the start of this stream and I've actually done quite a lot of stuff. So let's go save real quick. Yeah, you're not that far off, you know. I'm I'm still trying to save up in your stream for the whole the new chibi art style. All right. Oh, so it probably doesn't help that I rarely raid. <laughs> it probably doesn't help. I don't normally have that many viewers, so I'm like, I don't see the point in raiding. <laughs> I rarely ever raid. And what am I doing? I wanted to. Oh, no, wait, I wanted to save, didn't I? What? what? The hell am I doing there? The only reason I raided this morning is because Cranky raided me and I had like so many viewers. <laughs> Plus Jazzy does pop in. Like Jazzy pops in and says hi and then he goes and does his stream. He really doesn't need to do that. Jazzy is like a lot bigger beans than me and he'll still pop in and be like, oh, biscuits on. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jazzy. And again, the same goes for you, Kippy. And Kitten. They're all massive beans. Um, for people who have not been on this channel before, I mean, calling them all beans probably sounds really weird. <laughs> but they are. They are big, massive beans. I am little bean. I don't even know where the term big beans came from, but it just it became a thing. <laughs> Which it shouldn't, because this is a biscuit-based channel. And also the big bean thing led to me eating beans on cookie. Which wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It, was, it wasn't good, but it wasn't that bad. I just say random shit and some of it sticks. That's what this is. I honestly don't think I'll be doing this long enough to do some of the goals that I set as well. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like. I don't know. I don't. Oh Jesus! You stack of fucking tremors or doom, June. Oh no! It's a big boy. No! Ah, leave me alone! He's us. So I have one of the goals is this is never going to happen. Never ever ever is it going to happen. But one of my goals is if I reach 500 followers I will do a um, on stream cooking of biscuit. Like I'll cook some cookies. And the other goal which is this will definitely never happen. Is if I get all that room and you want to check the worst. <laughs> I saw memes of that uh, for the um, is that music video with the guy from Reservoir Dogs doing these weird dance and people doing memes of like him do it like getting chased by the worm. And then the other one is if I get fifty subs, I'll get a cookie theory tattoo on my leg. On my right leg, I will get a full cut. Because my rules on my tattoos is black and white only. No colours. Um, Because the colour fades, they don't look good. I will get a full colour. Cookie Thulu. The original Cookie Thulu as well. Not the new, amazingly detailed one by Jasper. I'll get the original OG Cookie Thulu. Tattooed on my right leg. Thing is, I set that vast so high because I knew it would never happen. At no point in my life am I going to get 50 subs. Also, at no point will I be doing this long enough to get 50 subs. <laughs> so it's like, I set an unachievable goal, so I don't have to do the thing. It is a, I think it is a wise saying from the Dune universe, though, isn't it?
Because doesn't the worm like detect the steady rhythm of the steps on the sand and that's how it gets them? <gasps> oh no, it's the British! <laughs> Shit! Goddamn British! Oh no, he's just gonna shoot me! What do I do? Yeah, Fat Boy Slim. It's Fat Boy Slim song, which is the the one I'm on about. I think it's the Fat Fat Boy Slim song has the guy from Reservoir Dogs dancing to it. It's really weird. How do I um? How do I deal with this prick? Dance, paper dance. Ah, oh, he shot. There's. I ran away. A bastard. That's how he's getting around so quick. He has the blue plate. That's how he's getting around. Just a walking, yeah, that guy. Walking. That's how he. That's how he's getting around. He has the blue plate. That I don't know. So many bullets. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I don't. Boop, 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 boop. But yeah, Kibby, they're, they're the goals. They're the long-term goals that will never happen. <laughs> um, yeah. I do want another tattoo though. No, like no, we're talking about tattoos. I do need another one, especially on my right leg, because I don't. I have left leg, left arm. I regret that one. I want it covered up. Right arm. That's my Kingdom Hearts Keyblade. So oh, I need right leg. I'm. I'm not balanced. I'm not balanced. Hey, I can take that to the guy at the very start of the game. We can make all. We can take. We can. Go all the way to the start of the game and give that guy his medicine. Uh, so, my original D and D symbol before I became the Biscuit and all that was a little like drawing of a Drake, like not a proper Drake, like a symbol of a Drake, right? And I got that on my left arm. But the guy put the wing, like it's also kind of tribalish the way it worked, like the way it's designed. It's like all like you know the old tribal. That is people used to always get. He's got that sort of design, but it's a drake. But he put the wings too far down on the body and the horns not separate enough and not really in the right position. So it doesn't look how it was meant to look. And also, it was my most expensive tattoo as well. And it's a shitty little like drake. It's not even that fancy. Like the keyblade has such intricate detail and it's, it, like, it looks like a rough sketch, which I wanted. The one on my left leg, which is a skull in a bowler cap, has so much detail in it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, fucking hell, how did this guy do that level of detail? You know, he's, he's made it genuinely. He's made it look like it's a brand on my leg. It doesn't look like a tattoo. It looks like someone's got a branding thing and branded it on my leg. It looks amazing. That was my cheapest tattoo as well. Because the guy charged £60 an hour and it took him 45 minutes. So he charged me £45. And I was like, fucking hell, mate. That's like... Also, if you look at it, you'll be shocked that he done it in 45 minutes. Like again, it's the most detailed one I had. The keyblade took longer. That's because we did get interrupted because there was a woman there who had never had a tattoo before and she wanted to watch me get my tattoo done because um tattoo artists were talking and it was basically I weren't showing any reaction or pain and I'm like because it didn't hurt. It was fine. So she was going to me like, oh hey, like the, this this woman who's really nervous want to get a tattoo for her mum. Wanted to watch me get my... I was like, yeah, that's fine. You know, that's fine. Yeah. Watch. And she was talking to me, asking me questions. I was like, oh, that's fine, isn't it? Huh? It's, you know, it's quite enjoyable, actually. Um, I, mean, I have done worse things to my body. <laughs> like, you know, I used to do worse things when I was younger and depressed. So the needles going in and out of my arm is fine. <laughs> Plus, Rick and Morty was on. She, the tattooist was watching Rick and Morty. And she was like, do you mind? No, wait, I wanted to go back and save the dude. Shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused. And do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. You little creep. I am going to try and cheese something here real quick. I'm sorry about being cheesy. 
Um, and we're going to exit. I'm going to reload. I'm going to see if I can I'm gonna exit the game. Why do I go back to the main menu then? Oh, the, the exit button. No. Is there no way of me going back to the main menu? I was going to try and exit, and instead of going through the brown door that caused this to come down, I was going to just try and go through this so you can go get the guy's medicine. We're going to try and choose it. I'll be right back. You can... I'm going to have to reset the game for you. One sec. Because there's no way of getting back to the main menu, apparently. And now we got all the radio transmissions. I think maybe this last chapter is quite linear. Whether it's all for the radio transmissions to be. Who knows? Here are your things. Wait, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty Bullshit. quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. My boy, we love Barry. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs. Okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. I didn't buy into the story. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker. Pizza, so. This is Barry Wheeler. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen, the sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you something. She says night springs, okay? So I guess she... Yes, sir. Okay, I... Okay, she's just busy, so she asked me to. <laughs> I like the fact you could listen to a whole of Barry's conversation. I'm not gonna. I like the fact you could. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I also quickly sent give me the tattoos. So you got my the Drake of Regret, my Keyblade, and my Scholar Hat tattoo, which is yes, that's what I call the Gold and the Bowler Hat one. It's a Scholar Hat. What you gonna do? So basically, what I'm about to do now is try and walk all the way back to the very beginning of the game. Thank you for the welcome back, Kibi. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm gonna try and walk all the way back to the beginning of the game. I did, I will say this about the... That, oh, you see, I can. Cool. The Keyblade Tattoo. Where is position on my arm? When I was getting the tattoo done, I was feeling really awkward because I had to put my arm on this like armrest thing the tattoo artist had, and then she was sitting on the other end of the armrest thing. And due to my height and her height, where the armrest thing like sort of pointed my arm was straight into her cleavage. So I was like constantly trying to like, pull my arm towards me so I didn't actually brush against her. And then she was constantly pulling it towards her to get the right angles for the tattoo but i just felt so awkward the whole time of like i'm trying to be nice here i'm trying to not brush your you know like, I'm trying to, I mean, really, like i had my hand like clenched so hard and she would, uh, at one point she went to, she saw my hand clenched and she went oh does it hurt i said like, no no that's fine i said no i can't go back okay so that was a waste that was a waste. we can't go back yet yeah so she, she was going to say oh does it hurt i said like, no 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 it's fine it's fine it's not hurting. It's quite like the tattoo is quite enjoyable. I I like the feeling when you get the tattoos done. The only one that's ever hurt me is the scholar hat, because of where one of the some of the tattoo is, the position of it. It's directly onto my bone. That did hurt. 
But he did warn me that. He went, oh, by the way, where you want this? He, he went to me, oh, I suggest, like, moving it a little bit. Like, not directly here. Like, maybe move it down or up a little bit so it's more on your thigh. Um, because where you want it positioned, it's going to go on bone and that will kill. And I went, nah, it's fine. <laughs> And he was right. The bone bit did kill. What I will say, and I don't appreciate, is basically the left eye, where it's not on bone, it's on flesh, fatty, fatty flesh, he did not shade in that part of the um, eye as much as he did the right eye, which was directly, and is still directly, on bone. And he put so much more detail and colouring into that eye socket, the one that was directly on the bone. It was as if he was trying to be like, yeah, see, look, I told you this would hurt. Did, did I not tell you? I told you. <laughs> like, it's fully, that's what it felt like. Oh, well. I like the that that is. But yeah. Um, I forget why. I, uh, why was I talking about tattoos anyway? I forget. <laughs> I'm shocked Kitten doesn't have a Buffy tattoo. That's my biggest shot. Just open the door, love. The slowest door opening in Resident Evil history. <gasps> There's a submachine gun. It isn't loaded. Take the submachine gun. You've taken the submachine. Oh, it took up all my space. Shit. I'm done with the submachine gun. Took up all my inventory space. Oh no! It's that thing! He actually looks kind of funny. I'm not actually that scared of him. I thought he was going to be so creepy and gross. <laughs> he, he looks kind of adorable. Did you see his little face? Oh no, he's beating me downstairs. Oh Jesus Christ! Did a ching. Is not my love. It's just a girl. He's quite cute. He's quite an adorable little thing, isn't he? Oh Jesus! I'm gonna die there. This <laughs> shiny zombie, I gotta catch him. No, oh, I think he's cute. His little face and his little nubbing arm. Well, that was a lot easier with the flaming. I didn't even know there were flaming bolts, but yeah, flaming bolts all the way. Yes. He felt very um, nineties. The way he was designed. Like, he felt like very much like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutated enemy. Oh, no! He's back! Oh, he's like crushing her skull. That's not fun. It's the angsty teen to the rescue! Oh, look, look at that. He weren't even looking. The dual will not look it. They're trying to make him so badass. They're trying. And then he opens his mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, that felt good. <laughs> Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is. Oh, here. God. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here, take these. Machine guns? For me? You know the deal, in exchange for your Lugers. 
<laughs> okay, okay. We're taking the golden Lugan. <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo, just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ow! My back! I don't play romantic music. You're heavier than you look. Hurry up! Happy now? What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Who wants to know why they've all got stuff around their necks? Because I know the reason. I know why she's got the choker and he has that weird collar. Okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> yeah. It was another fun fact of why most things from the um, early start of animation. Oh no, I'm playing as the knob! <laughs> early start of animation to mid um, 2000s, most of the time had stuff around their neck. Can I check on the family photo? Oh, family picture. Picture of Steve and his pair. Oh no, we're playing this little knob. I don't want to play Rockford Prison 267. Ah. What is it with the weird stance there? CP one two Place on the world down. Can I be used with some finger? I don't know if this is Hang on, bullets there, so I might as not pick those up. Not clear, right? The weird change to Steve, though. Is, I, no, I did not realise we would just be becoming Steve at some point. Hello to my little friend. You can blow stuff up. <laughs> Clear the air. <laughs> oh, I'm really sad to report he's actually quite badass with his submachine guns. It's the guns though, it's not him. He's still a fancy little freak. It's just the guns. Just the machine guns that are... Good. I'm shocked Claire's actually staying back like he asked. That's not good at all, those. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? 
Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! That was a waste. Steve. Never mind. Let's get going. I'll be clear now and go back and get all the cool stuff that we left behind. Although I still have to be knobhead Steve. All the stuff that we didn't get. There's a handgun upgrade down there. What the fuck's going on? I can't clear again. Can I go down there now? I must follow Steve. God damn you, game. Me, 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 me. I think I'm break down now, won't you? Well, yeah, by the way, the ring there will have stuff around their necks is because back then it was like difficult to animate the joint between the body and the neck. So it was much easier just to put something around their necks that you could animate instead. That's why Scooby Doo has the collar and Fred has the ascot. You know, that's why Fred Flintstone has a tie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit like that. It was just easier to hide the joints. Although it does make sense, Scooby having the collar anyway. He's a dog. Claire, are you okay? Steve, behind you. No. Dad. This is so 2000s. This is painfully 2000s. Steve. Father. Father. Well, I'd be right there, man. Father. <laughs> Give me the gun. <laughs> He's still an angsty knob. Used to work for Umbrella. Tried to steal information. Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed. And we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. Just rest. A changed father indeed. Can I have those guns, mate? You're not gonna use them, can I can I have them? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't really have any love for people who like care about it. <laughs> it sounds really cruel, but I don't like that. Large, uh, large size relief. We didn't appear to be telling a legend. Yeah, I don't have much uh, love for Dan. <laughs> we won't get into those issues. <laughs> I talked enough about my issues on stream lately. Lovely hang on it.
Oh, dog. Ah, There'll be another dog in a minute. Yes. <gasps> More bow ammo. Love the bow ammo. Got to love the bow ammo. When do I have a few days off again? In May. Oh, it's May now, isn't it? One sec. It's May. 20th, no, May 23rd, 1st, to, fuck my brain, one sec. May 21st, till May 30th. Although, he, because people are back sooner than I thought they was, I'm going to have to rearrange my whole schedule. Because my schedule was going to be Wednesday streams, Thursday sort out the mud, uh, the mud sink for the kids, Friday stream, Saturday have the kids over, Sunday have my godson. No, uh, Saturday has the, yeah, Saturday have the kids over, have my godson stay, and then go and look after the kids on Sunday. I take him home on the Sunday to look after them. Um, but, people are actually back on the Friday, I thought they were back on the Monday. So, I'm going to have to move some stuff around, so I may have to not stream on the Wednesday. Do the mud garden. A mud sink. Have the kids over on the Thursday. Friday bonus streams. Saturday rest day. Sunday look after the kids. I just might not be able to my gods on today. Sucks. Although I might still have. I'll be, I have to talk to their mum on Friday when we do the school run. It took a lot of convincing. And let him stay as well. Always does. Super takes a lot of convincing. Apparently, I spoil him. It's not fair on the others that he gets spoiled and they don't, even though he's the one that's over and they're not. And it's oh, I'm not going to get into it. Oh, I'm depressing myself again. Why didn't I buy alcohol again? <laughs> Uh, I meant a mud sink, not a mud garden. It's like a fake little kitchen sink made out of wood and plastic with like drawers and like an oven bit um, that you can kids can play with in the garden. And uh, what's it called? Like it's designed for them to do messy play. They're meant to like have water and in it and dirt and make mud. And just a mud sink. Um, they're a bit on the expensive side, but someone was throwing one out a few weeks or months back. I collected it in. I've got all the stuff to fix it up now, and you paint it and everything. Seems to be a picture of this room. There is not, because this is here instead of the painting. I don't have space! I can't even pick up the ink, ink ribbon because I don't have space. Oh. Are you being serious with me right now? There's no like box or anything I can put some stuff in. Oh, this is bollocks. Oh fuck it now, because I can't pick up the blue thing just because I wanted to save. 
Yeah, that's what Mud Garden is. So I'm going to try and reorganize my whole week now. So I'll have time to sort out the Mud Garden and have the kids over so they can actually enjoy it. And then have yeah, my godson stay. Oh, wait, if I... Oh, they have school on Friday, so I can't. Because she won't let him stay the night before him having school. Fuck. Because if I sort out the mud garden on Wednesday, I can have him stay on the Thursday. But they have school, so she won't let me. Hey. I really want him to stay. Uh, basement then. I'll work things out. I do get it. I live further away than their school than from their school than she does, so it would take longer. And he is like fussy in the morning when trying to get him ready for school. Plus, it might look. I also get it might look a little bit weird to the school, her dropping off one of the boys and me dropping off the other boy. I, I do get that. I'm going to try and make the best out of it, Kibby, because I also do want to have an extra day to record and extra days to stream. And then I also wanted a day where I can relax. I also want to see my uncle, because I don't really see my uncle that much anymore ever since my nan died. Um, or even before then, really, this year, because I'm busy with work and looking after the kids, so I don't really have time to... But I wanted to go see my uncle. Because I keep saying I will, and then... Hang on. Can I be used with the M9? I've got the wrong handgun, apparently. Yeah, so I wanted to go see my uncle. And we can play an awesome board game. He got me called Rad Lab. He's not been able to play. Just, oh... Basically, because they got, they're coming back two days earlier than I thought. The whole week has been thrown out of whack. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work something out. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. Basically, I won't know until... Friday morning. Friday morning is when I'll be able to work it out. E. Sorry about me like flooding all my stress here. Yeah, I didn't mean to get into all this. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll shut up now. Um. I need the blue card. I need that blue plaque as well, and I don't... I can't... I have nothing in my inventory I can drop. If he got the blue plaque. I need all the stuff I have. Which sucked. Because I know for a fact I need that blue plaque to get out of here. Maybe I can use a bunch of ammo on these dogs. Where you at, doggy? I'm here. Yeah. Is where is it? I can hear it. Definitely didn't use enough ammo. Oh, 
Can I just get in this tank? That'd be like really helpful to me. If I could just get in the tank. Oh no, it's tremors! Oh Jesus Christ, Jesus, H Christ, Jesus, no! Oh my knee! Was there a save room in here that had a box or not? No, there wasn't. But it's, it's the palace the only place with a box then. So I have to go all the way to the palace if I want to change my inventory out. Oh no, wait, there was, there was, there was, there was, there was this way. If I do have some extra streams in May, I could make them Gravity Rush 2 streams, but... Oh, Jesus, there's dog! But then again, that's not being redeemed yet. <laughs> I want to let you redeem it, because I don't... What else would you... What other game would you redeem, Kibi? Like, if I just did Gravity Rush 2 randomly, what, what other game would you redeem? I'm also really worried about what Kitten would redeem. Kitten has enough points, right, to just decide what I play for the next couple of months. Hopefully by then you'll have the point. Yeah, you have to think about it. I see. Got a golden Luger. I got the golden Lucas in my <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They're not kidding me having me do talk about two. Oh Um They Kitten really wants me to do snowdrift. I'm, I'm sure their mum mum would be alright then coming over Thursday because she doesn't normally get help on a Thursday it's not a school day I'm sure she'll be fine with them coming over it's the staying I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm, I know I shouldn't be talking about this I just it's on my brain now that I thought about it and it's time to talk about it or like I, my brain is also telling me to reach over to the fridge and grab the last of the beer I have <laughs> so I'm trying to not do that. Wants the white ultra instead. Wait, where was his bloody um apron? Where was this? If, if, if I did Slime Rancher, you would have to be in the videos to tell me what to do. Because I spent quite a few hours with Slime Ranch. I didn't achieve anything. Well, I, sp I spent a lot of hours in Slime Rancher. I didn't, I'm pretty, Kibby, I'm pretty sure the Sly Trilogy is on there. Because I saw, I'm pretty sure I saw it in the Classics Collection Sly Trilogy. I'm not sure though. I might be wrong. I'm sure I heard something about the Sly Trilogy. I don't know. I did play Sly as a kid, just not as much as Red Team playing. Because, not to get, like, Sly was one of the few things I actually played with my dad, dad, like my real dad. When we'd go, when me and Brother used to go around there, we used to play Sly and Midnight Club. I love Midnight Club games. Hey, Sly, oh no, Jesus! It's the worm again! Ah, 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 worm again! 
again. Slime Rancher 2 on stream. Oh god damn, I'm gonna die before I get to where I need to go. He's on me off on this bloody worm death. Not the door, that's not the door. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Hey, hopefully I'll be able to jump in your slime rancher two streams. It's the stream not the download. I now have a dedicated thing to my PC, like it has Ethernet in cables. So my internet connection is a lot more stable on the PC. So I could give it a go. I don't have the best of internet though. Although I did, I streamed all of one of the Ratchet and Clank games, or the ones that you can't download. Things like. It's not into the fire, you dumb. Oh yeah, I did stream one of the Ratchet and Clank like, like to the PlayStation before, and it didn't. Like I played for the whole game, it didn't really seem to have that much of an issue. I don't know. I'll give it a go. I've got a blue key card. I've got the blue key card in my hand. I could just give it a go in my free time. After stream, I've got to download that game. Um, I could give, like, streaming Sly to the PlayStation a go while it's downloading the other game. I don't know how many parts are out of this game. Like, how long it's gonna take to finish this game? Got to go the long way past the worm to get down there. I probably should have killed these dogs because they're going to cause me a lot of hassle now. One hit from death here. I have no healing items, and the worm is definitely going to get a hit on me before we get through the door. I want that new Princess Peach game as well. I want to play that. I never played the other Princess Peach game. The one that was all that people really are now looking back on and hating because it was all based on. Her emotions giving her powers, but that's because she was in like a motion land instead of the Mushroom Kingdom. But people are now looking back at it and like being like, oh no, this is terrible that she had to use it. Hey, kitten! Kitten, what would you use your points on if you did the Redeemer game? F2 probably, yeah, I thought so. Uh, TL2 and Torch Light 2. I thought, I thought so. I'm already on that floor. Why are you on the floor all the way? Yeah. I don't have to worry about Jasper redeeming because, you know, Jasper's awesome. Jasper, like, they're my artist. You know, love to them. Um, Jasper's always busy or playing games. Jasper does not have enough time to jump into this stream and be like, "Hey, play this game." As much as they keep teasing me about it, they keep text, they keep like messaging me about, like, "I want to make you do this game." Yeah, you, you're not. I know you well enough that you, you will not take the time it takes to jump in the stream and redeem it. You have an um. 
finish some of the projects that they're working on. Like, they're, they're not going to they're not going to have time to uh, do that. Oh, Kimmy, I did want to. I'm gonna. I need to PM you something about uh, art and stuff. Where are the zombies in here? A shot here. A grenade launcher. I've got a grenade launcher. It launches grenade. Fuck! Oh, Jesus! Fucking! 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 Fuck! Fucking! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking! Fucking! Fuck! Let me jump. I'm gonna die. Yep, there. I need a healing arm. Oh, that's some lava. <laughs> There's so many jokes I could make and I won't make. No! I'm all the way back here. <laughs> I'm all the way back here. I gotta go past the worm. <laughs> Oh, is there a healing item? If I stashed a healing item away in my little stash box, please tell me I have. Fire extinguisher, some saves, and a, a box, the golden lugers, and. Uh, oh. Sorry, I started, I started dancing to the, the beep beep beeps. You know what? I know it, it, this might seem a bit dumb to do. We're not going to go where I was just going and try and get through this facility. Because I'm now out, right, and I have this hermetic stack. And I remember the first guy you, you talked the guy who lets you out your cell when we started this game, throws an empty bottle on the floor and sits on a chair and sort of, like, accepts death because he's run out of this stuff. And now we have a, we have a pot of this stuff. I'm genuinely going to try and run to the start of the game. Being a, yes, being a ghost is lonely, ghost boy. Maybe you shouldn't die. I'm drinking all the. Maybe you shouldn't have died from drinking all those monsters. Yeah, that can be harsh. He's, he's fine. He's my little ghost. He's my ghost boy. <laughs> By the way, that Ghost Boy has levels, and the more you interact with him, the more he levels up. Um, and when he reaches level 15, he unlocks a new color. It, certain levels, he'll unlock different colors. Uh, he has costume. <laughs> it's just fun. I still haven't figured out how to do the whole like multi level food and drink redeems for him. Um, they're still at like 500, but it'd be expensive. Especially for people who are trying to save up. Ghost Boy is me, by the way. <laughs> like, we. I, I hopefully everyone's understood this right. Ghost Boy is like an alternative reality me. <laughs> me who died from drinking monsters. <laughs> Because I'm the biscuit boy and he is ghost boy. So I hope there's like. I hope everyone has caught on to that. It's just um, channel points. In the channel points, there's like a. Give him a drink or give him food. That's genuine what it is. Like, it's give him drink or food. The. I'm meant to be able to set the levels though. I'm meant to be able to set like 250, 500, something else, but I can't. I can't figure it out. So that's all it is. No, there isn't. You can't see him right now, so you can't see him enjoying it, but yeah. 
it's the um, give a monster and cookie time are the interactions because they have to be they have to link with the same thing as on Pando's thing. I know, I'm sorry. I tried to give them fun names. I'll change it to boring give monster and give cookie or something. I'll say in the description, mm, yummy monster for the guys. What the fuck? Why is she just standing there? I'm trying to shoot me gun. Oh, did I? Oh, I've unequipped me gun by accident, that's why. That's my fault. Yeah, you have to click on it for that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can give him monster or a cookie. He has monster in a juice box. But Static medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. But I need the light to keep the bats away from me. No! Now the bats are gonna murder me. And I should have brought the briefcase with me as well, because I had a feeling this would give me the lockpick. Now we've got to run all the way back there with this lockpick. I open the briefcase to hope there's some form of healing item. Because otherwise, I'm going to die. Because I'm genuinely one hit from death. Between there and now, there is a lot of zombies. I should end soon, really. Then I'll be gone for another week. But we'll just have to miss me. I'm joking. No one's going to miss me. <laughs> Although Monday, I will say I am excited for Monday. Monday has the first episode of my project coming out. Oh, I am excited for that. Hopefully people watch that. It's, it's a lot of effort. project a project it is not perfect it's good enough there is room for improvement which i will improve on in the next episode when i ever get <laughs> when i ever get around to doing that <laughs> And make sure to watch the credits, everyone, because they're maybe a nice little 
nice little surprise in the credits, maybe. I know the other way. Oh, Jesus, no! I was going to say, I know the other way is the way I need to go, but that way is safer because there's no monsters and this way has the tunnel thing. But now there's those guys. I'm going to get killed today. Oh, I made it. <laughs> you need sex, you don't want to wait. <laughs> Give me... It's Monday. Monday, 8 a.m. UK time, so 9 a.m. for you is when it will come out on the Biscuit channel, the Biscuit Boy YouTube channel, the main one, not the stream one. It'll be out. You can watch it and you can hate it and then never watch it again. Oh no, I'm sorry. I know you was like, why don't I just release it the day I finished it? But I'm like, no, 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 no. By releasing it on that Monday, it delayed me having to record a YouTube video <laughs> by an extra by an extra week. It, it delayed my need to, to actually do work for an extra week. Oh, I know, I know. Well, hopefully, the nice little surprise at the end of the video will make it all better. No, but it says if I had a lockpick, I could open it. Is that it? Is that it? Seriously, it? More of the... Is that... Are you... More of the super strong bow arrows. Seriously? Yeah, I'm gonna do Odin Spear for YouTube. Never seen anyone beside myself play it. That's fair enough. Oh, by the way, I meant to say your cover image for Monster Boy 4 says 3 on it. Oh! Thank you, kitten! <laughs> I will most likely go back and fix that. Right, I'm gonna save and end it here then. Because. I've only got eight minutes left. There's no point in me just running to a different save point for those eight minutes. Well, actually, no, there is. Because I don't want to have to go past the world. Right, we're going to run to the other save point and then I want to end. Okay. And then I need to set up the PS4. Start downloading Odin. Odin Sphere. Attempt streaming Sly. Then, while Thingy's downloading, probably should eat food at some point. Then I can record and edit. And then, and only then, can I. Not a big game, so you should go fast. Fair enough. It depends how good I am at it. What, the thing I'm excited for is it's a 2D game. And 2D games or the Raven Croft game I did. Um. Well, like 2D games like Monster Boy have a great thing is when you go between areas, the screen goes black for a second and then it goes back. And that's such a great way to edit around the times where I'm running back and forth, not doing anything for 20, 30 minutes, not even saying anything. Because I could just be like, I walk through this bit, screen goes black, and I'm suddenly at this bit. <laughs> it really helps with the editing of it together. <laughs> There is a lot of Monster Boy and the Ravencroft game, or Ravenloft, I can't remember what it is. Game I did where I cut out of me just wandering around going, where the fuck do I have to go? <laughs> um, by doing that. It's like, there's a lot of where the fuck do I have to go cut out. It does get under the It really does. It's like, oh, suddenly I'm here. <laughs> Like Resident Evil has it like with these doors in the older ones, like doing that 
and then go and, like I would cut it once it goes black and then we'd be wherever I want to be. Like that's that's a great thing with like games that have scenes like that. <laughs> it's like I'm here now and it it looks so much better. <laughs> I'm really nervous on Monday as well, so I might not be around. <laughs> I'm gonna say that as well. But you ready for that Monday? Me not being around, me just being like, I'm not replying to any of messages, I'm not checking YouTube. I, I, I just, I'll see how it goes Tuesday when I'm with the kids and they can calm me down. <laughs> hey, Ben. I don't have any heels, Ben, so I can't heal. <laughs> Run, 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 cuts are very good, kid. Hey, Pen, popping in as I end, which is a pen tradition. Done that a few times. The restart from the beginning. No way I'm restarting from the beginning. No, we'll just suffer around having no health. It's fine. I'm far enough into this game that she can just suffer. <laughs> ben is so nice, Joker, I mean, Ben. And being so nice, and then I have to be like, I'm going now. <laughs> I'm ending. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but welcome. So thank you to um, Retro 5K or Retro. <laughs> um, thank you to Kibby. Thank you to Kitten. Thank you to Pen for all popping in and being here and enjoying it. You see it as a gift. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Look! The, the ghost boy, he's getting XP and drinks and cookies. Um, I am going to raid because Kibby needs her points. So I'm going to find someone to raid. So we have Rowan from. Viva La Dirt League, which is a massive YouTube channel and a massive guy. He's hilarious, though. We have... Broak, which I don't recognize that channel. We have Jazzy, or we have K of Double K. Or I could look up someone who's doing a Resident Evil game. Or if any of you have suggestions to raids, because I always struggle with this part. That's why I never do it. I never raid, because I'm like, who the fuck do I raid? I know no one plays Resident Evil anymore, Pen, that's why I'm here, I'm here doing it. I'm picking up the slack. He's not on. It tells me Kay's on, though. Confused. We'll do that one that Kibby says, Shadow, something, that guy. We're going to go there, because it's easier than me finding someone. You're just giving me two choices now, Kibby. I can't, just do one, please. <laughs> shadow, <laughs> we're going to do Shadow, we're going to do Shadow, because... <laughs> this is why I don't raid, I find it so hard to do. I find it so hard to raid people. We're going to go to Shadow Dude doing the Darkest Dungeon. Thank you for everyone for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye. And get your points, Kibby. Get your points. <laughs>